Hello and welcome back to this Kubernetes talk series. So today in this series, we will be discussing how to create an MTDIR and we will be using that with the pod. So let's get started and we will go to our console. So here we are back to our console. So I have already created one pod.yaml file. So in this YAML file, we are creating the pod and we have given the name empty pod and we are creating the empty uh, that uh, Nginx container and empty DR container name we have given and we are mounting the volume path slash data uh, directory we are mounting and we have created the uh, volume empty DR volume with the empty DR type. Okay, so this is how you create the uh, volume and this is how you mount the volume to the container. So let's apply this file. So we will apply this file kubectl apply minus f pod dot yaml. So our pod has been created. So we will see kubectl get pod so container is creating okay so we will type again and see okay so it is running so now what we'll do is um, we will go inside the pod kubectl exec hyphen it and this pod name we will copy here and uh, hyphen hyphen bash Okay, so since we have mounted the slash data directory, so we will go into that data directory and we will create some file here. So we will create one another file as well. Okay. If you do so, we have created the two file here to file.txt and file1.txt. Okay, so let's uh, come out from this uh, container. Okay, so we will do exit. And now we will see where this pod is running. I think it will be running in the node one only because there is only one node f1 o wide so yeah it is running in the one node so we will go inside that node so basically we will be seeing uh, we will be seeing where is our uh, file.txt and do, those two file are saved inside the that container so what we will do is here rictl we will do and we will see the container name. So this is the container name which we have given during the pod creation. So we will go and ins uh, inspect this uh, container. Okay. So to inspect CRICTL, we will do and inspect. And this container name we will give. So we need to find here slash data where is okay so we have found this slash data and we have uh, type equals to bind we can see so this is the uh, path where inside the container where our uh, those two file is saved so let's go inside this directory and check whether those files are present or not okay need to copy once again i guess wrong copy has taken okay this one is there so we'll copy this path once again okay we will go here and see so when we do ls so we can you can see this both files are there inside this uh, container in this directory particular directory so whenever you are using that MTDIR, you can go in, uh, the, into that particular pod and create a file 
then come to the node in which uh, that uh, container is running and inspect that particular container and you will get this uh, particular directory and you can check whether those files which you have created are present here or not. So that's it for this video. So in the next video, we will see how to create a host path. Okay. So thank you for this video.